so delicious so tastefully spiced up they are just like a wow just like a wow in every bite look no further these matris are pure wow today we are going to make wholesome and flavor some snack what sets these savory bites apart is that we are using whole wheat flour making them a healthier option compared to the regular boring maida these snacks are like little flavor bombs yes these are matris of course matris but additional with strong essence of hing or asafoetida that makes them absolutely unique and also delicious we have even added a pinch of turmeric to give them a beautiful golden color and the best part they are a breeze to make so if you are ready to munch on some awesomeness let's get cooking let's kick things off by making the dough in a mixing bowl combine 3 cups of whole wheat flour and now let's introduce a tablespoon of ajwain or carom seeds here we are going to slightly crush them between our hands this releases their fragrant aroma making our matris all the more exciting to elevate the ardhi tones add half a cup of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves to the mix sprinkle some black salt add just as you like and also add regular salt according to taste now we'll add 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of hing the hing gives a unique flavor to our matris keep it in mind if the hing is stronger then feel free to adjust it to your preference for spiciness sprinkle in 1 teaspoon of freshly pounded black pepper this will give our matris that extra zing and to bind all these amazing flavors together add 2 tablespoon of ghee this is what will make our matris melt in your mouth to give a beautiful golden color to our matris just add a pinch of turmeric now mix all the ingredients gently rubbing between hands this will help the oil or ghee to mix in with the flour to check the right amount of ghee or oil or moyen take a handful of flour in your palm and press down flour should hold shape meaning it has the right amount of oil required for the crust if it is not so then add one more tablespoon of ghee to get the perfect consistency now sprinkle a little water at a time only as required and make a dough a dough has to be stiff and slightly hard but not dry and crumbly we don't want a soft and smooth dough here we'll drizzle a touch of ghee on the surface of the dough to keep it from drying out and becoming too flaky cover it up and let it rest for a good 10 minutes After 10 minutes, divide the rested dough into three equal parts. Keep the other two parts covered to prevent them from drying out. Take one of the dough portion and roll it out like a thick roti. Now, we'll roll it from one side to the other to create a cylindrical shape or like pipe. Divide this roll into two equal parts. Place one part of the cylindrical roll vertically and again roll it out with a rolling pin or baler, aiming for a thickness of about a half an inch. It's time for your matri to take shape. Cut the roll dough into long matri strips. These are going to be the crispy bites of delight. Transfer them to a plate and again repeat the process for the next roll. Keep the raw matri strips aside. Meanwhile, let's heat up some oil in a kadai for deep frying. Make sure the oil is hot but not smoky. Carefully drop the matri into the hot oil. ensuring not to overcrowd the pan or kadai let them sizzle away for 1 to 2 minutes and then flip them gently using a knife or a spoon 
fry them until they turn a gorgeous golden brown and make sure to keep the flame low for that perfect crunch keep stirring occasionally until the matri turn golden brown and crispy while the matris are sizzling grab the leftover dough from the sides and let's shape two adorable little hearts who says snacks can't have a little love kids would love this once they are all golden and crispy transfer the matris to a plate lined with tissue paper to soak up any excess oil now to take these hing matris to the next level sprinkle one teaspoon of chaat masala or jaljeera powder over them give them a good toss to make sure every matri is coated in the zesty flavor and there you have it a snack that's not only tasty but made with love serve up your hing matris with your favorite sauce chutney and piping hot cup of tea or coffee your taste buds are in for a double treat so go ahead make a batch of these delightful hing matris share them with your loved ones and let the snacking continue with a side of sweet little hearts don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more scrumptious recipes happy munching and spreading the love over savarchi bavarchi stay delicious and stay tuned